James of The Athletic has said that Ben Simmons could be on the move. Teams are moving in right now. Sixers are looking for a multi-team trade. And the Knicks being one of those teams that they have called. The Knicks are not trading Julius Randle for Ben Simmons. <laughs> uh -oh. Please take your emotions out of it and let's talk with let's talk with our noodles, okay? Let's take that out of it. Anybody in the chat talking about they need to trade Randall? They're not trading Julius for Ben Simmons. So let's just get that out of the way. Is this a trade that you would pursue? I'm hesitant to trade for Ben Simmons. I like Ben Simmons as a player. I think there's still a lot of untapped potential. He's been in the best situation in Philadelphia. You have Joel Embiid as your running as your running partner. You've had Tobias Harris. You had JJ Reddick. You got Danny Green. You have. Seth Curry, you got all these guys to make life easier. You got Shake Milton coming off the bench. You had uh, Dwight Howard last season. You have the, the team was so good, even when he was when he started playing that first year and they played the Celtics. I think I get that you're upset from being in a trade rumor. That really shouldn't make you that upset. You're you're being in a trade. You're being in a trade talks for James Harden. That should tell you how good you are. I'd probably pass. On the surface, he checks a lot of boxes for us. Oh, the for defense, sure. the rebounding. The passing, the wizard, first team all defense, solves our perimeter defensive issues, gets on the boards for us, can solve our rebounding issues, and can facilitate. Floor general, the shooting woes, the shooting from three, the free throws, what do you do with him in the half court? Dude, can he and Randall coexist? You're not trading Julius Randall for Ben Simmons. The Knicks wouldn't do that. They would be bringing him in here to play with Julius. And then everything that has happened with the Sixers in the locker room, is that the guy that you want to bring here? You want to bring that to New York. He flamed out of Philly, but you want to bring that to New York with with the money that that he has right now, with the contract that he has. Uh, but it, in terms of Ben Simmons himself, when you look at that salary, CP, that he checks a lot of boxes. You know, when you talk about what's going on with our team now in terms of offensive rhythm, in terms of offensive movement, activity, you insert Ben Simmons... And he solves a lot of those issues. You know, maybe your shooters now are having better nights because he's able to get them within the flow. However, to me, he's a 6'10 Rajon Rondo. And even Rondo in his prime still needed Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, and Kevin Garnett. And in this era, with the salary cap, you're adding 35, 37, and 40 million, which would, would be his next three years. In other words, when you decide to invest that much chunk of your salary cap are you trying to get a closer like what type of player are you trying to get you know he's going to be 13 14 million more than julius randall and we're over here having shows trying to figure out why julius randall is not doesn't have it together philly philly don't want no 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 kids daryl Morey's in win now mode but best believe if ben simmons is coming here you can't trade anybody else on his team without including randall's contract and unfortunately bro I hear what y'all saying about they won't trade Randall, but the best GM is able to make uh, is able to just admit when they're wrong. They should have never extended him. So February third, they're able to trade Randall, Evan, all these people that they re-sign. And best believe, if if Philly is really 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 in on getting CJ, Randall's gonna be a part of that three way trade. Now I don't know where he gonna end up. There is no way that you guys are sitting here telling me there is no way that we really believe. Randall and Ben Simmons can play together. So there is to no way they are trading Julius Randall this year to bring Ben Simmons here, man. You crazy, bro? I don't Why? know, because man. Because Sham said the Knicks know. are involved. Everybody know. throws the Knicks in a deal, man. But the best, but the best way that the best way that a GM can admit, because Leon was wrong. All these things that he but, did was but wrong. to you, he's wrong. How do you know he's saying that? Because if it's one thing to be wrong and stay the same. It's another thing to be wrong and change it. Like, after after a couple months, bro, then, where then, we you, then where, you where signal we to the fans not, that you don't know what you're not, doing. That's when you signal to the fans not, that you have no clue what you're doing. It's no. not even a play-in team, CP. This is a draft lottery team right But now. you have to see it through. You got to see it through. You don't see bail it on it two months into the into the project. And then you tell the fans we had no idea what we're doing here. Uh, I'm very anti Ben Simmons. <laughs> I mean, it'd be great to have, but like, like y'all saying, like people aren't looking at what is the maturity, the material reality of this franchise right now. 
You know, we just hired Tibbs. He ain't going anywhere. Mm-hmm. We just extended Randall. He's not going anywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, the front office, I agree with the critiques. They, they, the, the, the dud with Fournier, that, that really is the biggest block because at this point, the dude needs his touches. He needs 30 minutes a game to be productive. But when he's giving you nothing on defense, you don't want to play him. Um, in terms of trades, I think the first move, the most logical move, is, you know, trading Mitch, trying to see, uh, obviously moving Kemba, getting a stretch big. I think if we get a stretch big, if we bring Grimes to rotation, you know, that could, that, that could do a lot to get this offense humming, uh, get that defense going. Um, I'm, I'm definitely, you know, the children of the future. <laughs> I'm not trying to trade our young core um, for, as y'all said, the question mark of Ben Simmons. 